Did you guys see brand new New York Knicks forward OG Ananobi at the ball drop in Times Square last night? My man was there with all the other New Yorkers, slice of Sabaro pizza in hand. I don't know about you, but I'm happy he's embracing the New York lifestyle so quickly. But enough of that. Knicks fans, I love this trade for y'all. So let's talk about all that today. Go through what you're getting with OG. And how does he fit with Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, and the rest of the Knicks? As long as Tom Thibodeau doesn't turn OG into the next Cam Reddish, I'm liking this trade for you guys. But before we go any further, my name is Troy, and welcome to the Half Core Report. Do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and hit subscribe for some of the best NBA content you're going to find on YouTube. Check out my pinned comment, and let's get into it. The Knicks have been after Ananobi for a while now. Last year, they offered the Raptors multiple first-round picks for him leading into the trade deadline. Toronto, they weren't interested then, but as OG is due for a new contract this offseason, they started to change their minds and thought maybe a trade would be the best option, and now the Knicks have their new starting small forward. And with OG, it's all about what he brings on the defensive end. There is a reason that the six foot seven wing made the NBA all defense team a season ago and why he is bound for more defensive accolades if he keeps up his performance in the new year. He guards the other team's best player on a night to night basis, no matter who that player is really. He can square up point guards, two guards, forwards, wings, combo guards, big men, you name it. He's going to get the job done. This is the sort of contributor that New York has needed for a long time. A switchable wing who plays either forward spot and who can also drain threes and create his own shot. Ananobi averaged 15.1 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 2.5 assists in 27 games with Toronto this season. He's shooting 61% on twos and 37% from deep. So we could see a scenario where Ananobi arrives in New York and starts bombing threes like never before. Shooting from the corner, for instance, he makes over 44% of his attempts there. And I think he'll find himself in that spot a lot with New York. When Randall posts up on the right side, he can look to OG in the corner. When Jalen Brunson gets downhill, his eyes will shift over to Ananobi. As soon as his defender drifts just a step toward the paint, and Tom Thibodeau constantly mentions the value of shots to his team. That means he's encouraging the guys to shoot as many wide open, standstill threes as they can get. And there's no question that Ananobi will reap the benefits of that philosophy. He's been hoping for a bigger offensive role than the one he had in Toronto for a long time, and this is his opportunity. The newly traded R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly, a.k.a. Manny Quick, they soaked up a bunch of the Knicks scoring, so OG is going to have to be there to pick up the slack. So he's going to get spot-up opportunities with this New York team. He's shooting 39% on catch-and-shoot threes this season and has consistently been around the 40% mark throughout his career. He's taking six and a half three-pointers a game so far, and that number could climb to, what, eight, nine attempts with the Knicks? Because they do have more shooting around him than the Raptors did. So, more space to shoot and to create is in his future. Ananobi fits the style of play for Tom Thibodeau, too. He's tall, he has great length, he can switch multiple positions, and he is committed to playing a physical brand of defense. OG can also be effective on the offensive end, especially as a secondary scoring option. He is everything the Knicks were hoping that R.J. Barrett could develop into. And now, they have their guy. I know you guys are going to have a lot to say in the comments, so I want to hear it. Since you've watched this far, make sure you drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Click that subscribe button too, so you never miss another New York Knicks or NBA video. And guys, again, I do like this trade for y'all, but I am sad to be losing Emmanuel quickly. I've been following his game for a long time, and I think the Raptors got themselves a good one with IQ. I did a whole video on that, so if you're missing quickly, check that video out. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time on the Half Court Report. Have a great day.